everyone, I am Shikha Singh, fourth year mechanical. Recently, I got placed in Tata Technologies and I am here to share my experience in getting through Tata Technology. Firstly, I am going to brief you about the criteria, which is 75% in 10th and 12th, 7.5 CGPA in BTEC with not more than one year gap. The entire recruitment process was completed in five major steps. The first step was your written exam. The set consisted of two sections. The first section had questions from general aptitude, English and general knowledge. The second was all about your core subjects. As per my experience, focus on subjects like strength of material, theory of machines, thermodynamics, heat transfer, manufacturing, uh, questions were of both the types like uh, numerical based questions as well as reasoning questions. All you need to have is basic idea about your core subjects. Whatever you learn, learn it with logic. Second step is your group discussion. Question, uh, topic which was given to me was are Indians are becoming quality conscious or not? It uh, lasts for about 10 to 15 minutes and they, uh, the major factors on which you are judged upon are your confidence level, your body language, whether you are allowing your team members, group members to speak or not. So I would suggest you to start and conclude the discussion and remain stick to the topic throughout your time limit. The third step is your technical, the first technical interview. Uh, interview started off with introduction. Then they ask you uh, about very basic definitions like enthalpy, enthalpy, entropy, what do you understand by ignition, time lag, knocking. So uh, don't just give the definition which is given in your books. They, they'll straight away stop there. Come up with definitions with understanding, like with an example. They actually see your approach of understanding and learning things. Be prepared with all the cycles that is auto cycle, diesel cycle, Rankine cycle, Brayton cycle. So these are the cycles which they generally ask about. Um, yes, when they ask you about your favorite subject, don't just say IC engine. Prepare two or more subjects, two or three more subjects, which will leave a good impression on the interviewer. Yes, questions come from your uh, training and internship program. Be thorough with it. Each and every basic knowledge, basic questions, they ask you about your internship and training program. So you need to be thorough about it. Yes, second, uh, then comes your second interview, uh, technical interview, in which they ask again, they focus on your core subjects. They basically, they want to know your practical knowledge. They don't need bookish information from you. Focus, whatever you learn things, learn it with an example. You should know its application. Like they asked me, about to, to explain the entire transmission system of a vehicle. So, and like whatever the upcoming, upcoming cars in the market, what type of engines they are using, the types of engines. So these are the questions you should know about the, about mainly the application part. They focus mainly on application part, the suspension system. They ask me uh, all these questions. And the last step is your HR interview. In HR interview, it is more of an interactive session. So be confident, feel comfortable while interacting with the interviewer. They ask you about your family background, job location, how you handle stress. So these are the basic questions which come from the interviewer side. So be confident, be honest while answering. Don't try to pretend or lie while answering. 
so the, this is my suggestion to my loving juniors that's all all the best to my loving juniors